Okay, we could not be more excited about this segment coming up. Spring hat season is here, and with the Kentucky Derby and the Royal Wedding just around the corner, it's the perfect time to show off a few trendy styles. We'll even enjoy a little mini hat modeling segment featuring a few of our handsome colleagues in just a few minutes. Celebrity style hat expert Jill Hammer is uh, with us. She's ready for some show and tell. How do you become a celebrity style hat expert? First of all, that's what I want to know. Inquiring minds. I have been working with hats for about 15 years. I'm a huge hat fan and I think it just can transform any outfit. Yes. So with derby season coming up, he's also the royal wedding and after there's a royal wedding there's always a bump in hat popularity. So right here we've got a lot of hats from the Milliner's Guild okay. which is a collection of hat makers. These are all handmade couture. You're wearing a hat from Ellen Christine Couture. She actually makes hats for Sarah Jessica Parker Ooh, la, la. and Gwyneth Paltrow. Ooh. So these are great if you're going to a derby party or if you've got a summer wedding coming up. Love it. Um, you can also go with a fascinator, which is another dressy option. I have one on, and what happens is the little elastic band here gets hidden under your hair. Mm -hmm. So you perch that on the side of your head, and it's very easy to wear, and it's a little bit a little bit of a different option than a larger hat like Can I that. do a swap -a -roo? You can do a swap -a okay. This is another kind of fascinator that's on a headband. This is from a designer who's had a hat shop in Harlem for 25 years. Oh, that's the that's ticket. That's so gorgeous, very flapper oriented. Yes. And all of these milliners hats are available at Media Noche, which is at Stony Point. Mm -hmm. And Stony Point is the title sponsor of RVA Fashion Week this year. So at the end of RVA Fashion Week, you'll be able to come by, there's a trunk show, you can actually purchase everything you've seen on the runways. Wow, and the timing will be perfect because you'll be ahead of the wedding and you'll ahead, be ahead of the derby, derby ahead That's of great. weddings, that sort of thing. Another, talking about a little more casual style for mm -hmm. women. The beret is having a major fashion moment. Having a moment. Having a moment. Meghan Markle wore an ivory colored one. It's also a really nice option for when it's not super hot and it's kind of a transitional season time and you need something that you can wear at night. A beret is a great go-to. Beyonce is also a huge fan of berets. She does a little edgier take, mm -hmm. wears a kangle. She actually put her backup dancers in berets at Coachella this past there weekend. There she is, making it look sporty and it, awesome. Yes, exactly. So it's kind of a less feminine version. And then also also, speaking of like summer music festivals, if you wanted to go with something like that, this is from Giovanni. So you, it's a nice casual option, nice wide brim, helps keep the sun off of you. So that's another option for women as well. I love it and beautiful. Yes. And then, did we want to do our fashion Is it time show? for the men? Is it time for the men? We've got a few handsome friends Send over here. Men. All right, so so men love to wear hats. Uh, did I do this the right way? Yeah, that looks well. So, let's see. Here you go. You got to zhuzh it. Nobody's, now you go. Nobody's going to confuse now you're me giving with Beyonce, Beyonce over here. Realness. Okay. So, so our first handsome model here. We have, look at this. <laughs> we have Brandon here. Brandon's wearing a hat from Biltmore. Now, Biltmore is made in the USA. A lot of the best men's hats are made in America. Uh, it's been a tradition for years and years for men to wear hats and it's coming back in style. He looks extremely dashing. Thank What's the you. trend we're seeing there? That is a fedora and it's got a little bit, you're seeing a lot more detail in the hat band, so you see a, a variation in color there. Mm -hmm. So guys are getting a little braver, getting, you know, putting in pattern and that sort of thing into their hats. Yeah, beautiful stuff. Okay, yes. looking good, Brandon. All right, Brandon. All right. Scoot, scoot your roots over there. Now, oh, look at this, now look at this model. Now we have Tom. Uh -huh. Tom is wearing Bailey of Hollywood. Ooh, la, this is la. actually made in America's old Oldest hat factory. There's a hat factory in Adamstown, Pennsylvania, Bowman Hat Factory. They've been making hats since 1868, and they use a lot of the same hat blocks that they used from decades wow. ago. So it's a real traditional, evergreen style that's never going to go out of style. And he looks particularly dandy in his Bailey of Hollywood Tom, hat. Tom, I never would have predicted. <laughs> Ooh, that a hat would have worked nice. so well for good, you. Tom? I feel fantastic. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I do. It's a style storm over there. That's what's going on. I love that. Okay, now, we have another one coming here in. Here we have Patrick. This is a more casual option. I That's think this Patrick. looks amazing with the beard. Yes. It's a leather trilby. It's from oh. American Hat Makers. That's also made <laughs> in the USA, but it's a different option than the fedora. So it's good for it's good for you know spring nights when it's not super hot outside. 
Sorry. Patrick, he be careful. It. Ford modeling is going to start Patrick, calling. You yeah. are looking fly yeah. today. A round of applause for Patrick. Thank you. Coming I from, mean, he's coming really from bringing behind it. the camera. Okay. Here we have Alex. A driving cap is a great option for guys who oh, don't yes. want to wear a fedora, who want something simple, easy to travel with. This is from Broner Hats. This is just $38. Wow. So, and it looks amazing. And it's a great option, like I said. If you're not feeling a fedora, you can come up with something like this, an ivy cap or a driving cap. Alex, you might wear that on the weekends, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you look Thank you, Alex. <laughs> Dashing with that smile and that hat. We have one more. Oh. And here we have Bill. Look at this. Who told me earlier he is a hat guy. <laughs> so he's used to wearing hats. He tilts it, he gives it a little jaunty perch. That's a hat from Wallaroo. That hat actually has UPF 50 sun protection built into oh, it. Oh, that's great. So it's like putting sunscreen on when you put it on your head. It's practical for Bill. He loves being outside. And it's perfect. It's also really packable, so you can throw it in a suitcase, travel with it. And it looks fantastic. <laughs> I tell you what, as the kids would say, that hat, I think, is Bill's jam, right? <laughs> that is his jam. That looks great. And so Thank many you. styles. There so are so many different styles to choose from. And you really just have to take the time to try them on. Mm -hmm. And depending on what you're looking for, if you want something that's to dress up for an occasion or if you want something that you're going to travel with, this is from the brand that Bill had on. And this is really crushable and packable. Mm -hmm. And the one that topped that up, Alex has on that little driving cap that's very similar to what David Beckham and Brad Pitt wear. Did I do it right? You have to Are do you it nervous? around the back. I'm oh, a little nervous. I did it backwards. <laughs> okay. Do it around the back. All right. So, uh, so stylish, celebrity, um, fantastic inspiration, and great stuff. And it really, I mean, instead of going out and buying a new summer dress, yes. just get a hat. You can go with your basic little black dress. No one's going to notice what you're wearing because you've got on a fantastic hat. Yeah. So, like I said, this is part of RVA Fashion Week, these hats from the Milliner's Guild. And you can stop by Media Noche at Stony Point and have a lot of fun. Great, so, and we sure have. You have brought some delightful styles today. Yours is beautiful too. We didn't even get yet a close oh, up of this, this one. this is a fascinator, fascinator as well. So mm -hmm. again, it's on this little strap. So you pull it forward and then you pull the, your hair around the strap. So it looks like it's just perched up there magically. I just love that I put it on backwards. Come on over with us. Let's get let's get with the fellers. Oh, let's get with our and handsome do, models. Do one last, all right? <laughs> we'll do one last look over here. Look dangerous, y'all. Let's see. Everybody mm. look mysterious. Mm -hmm. There it is. For more information on these looks, just visit our website at wtvr.com slash VTM. By early this afternoon, we all get ready, guys. Here's the choreography. We tip our hats to you. Hope to see you right here on the other side of the break.